Hey guys, it's Kate from Happy Tales, and I wanted to talk to you about our transitional training program. Our transitional training utilizes what we call a transitional leash. We use this tool in group classes, in private lessons, and in residency, and it's available for dogs that are as young as eight weeks old and dogs are as old as 15 years old. The transitional approach to training is a holistic way of communicating calmness in a dog. So it's not necessarily a tool that we're using to teach obedience or to teach commands, but it is a tool that we are using to help dogs de-escalate in really stressful times for them. This leash helps to give you better control when the kids are getting off the bus or when the husband's walking in the door or when you have a party and people are coming over, you're on a walk and your dog sees another dog or they see another human and they just go crazy with either excitement or fear-based reactivity. It's a great tool for dogs that have prey drive when they're out in the backyard and a squirrel goes running by or a dog that chases the cat. It's really just designed to help de-escalate the brain and put the brain into a calmer state. This leash is literally just a piece of rope. So if a dog amps up, adrenalizes, gets overly excited, and we struggle with control, all we need to do is just apply pressure to the leash, which applies pressure to the two natural pressure points of a dog to bring calmness to their mind. The Happy Tails programs that just use this leash are not considered formal training. This is more designed to create the mind to think about situations differently, not necessarily teach obedience. So the hardest part about the transitional leash is putting the leash on. So I want to teach you guys how to put the leash on. There's a few different components of the leash. You have your locking mechanism. You have your S hook. That's the little hook that looks like an S or like a figure eight. That is going to go under the dog's chin. You have your safety lock. This is actually going to clip onto your dog's collar so that if the leash ever slid over the dog's head, you still have it locked so that they can't escape. You've got your neck piece and your muzzle piece. The neck piece is the bigger part and then you're going to take this S hook and pull the leash through the S hook and now you've got the muzzle hook. I'm going to show you how to put this on, but ultimately when you put it around the dog's neck and the nose, you've got the two different pieces. When you put your leash on, the first thing that you want to do is make sure that your locking mechanism is slid down. Before we get this over the dog's head, I want to show you two different ways that you can open up this leash and see it hang. So when you hold the leash up in front of you, it's either going to look like a P or it's going to look like a nine. You want it to look like a P and that's going to be the first way that you put this over the dog's head. Once I have this around the dog's neck, I'm going to spin the leash so that the black rubbery part of the leash is on the back of the neck. So I have my P shape, I slide it over the head and I spin it around and now I can tighten it up. So I have my P, I slide it over my dog's head. I'm going to turn the leash around because I want the locking part to be on the back of the neck. Remember, this is the safety. This clips right to their buckle collar. You remember that S hook I talked about that looks like a figure eight? That's going to go under the dog's neck. So what you're going to do is you're going to pull the fabric out from that S hook and it's going to go right over the dog's nose. Then we're going to tighten up the top and lock down our sliding lock. So when you have your transitional leash on properly, you should have your safety connected. The S hook should be underneath the dog's neck and on the back of the neck, your locking piece and the middle little ring should fall right between the dog's ears. When you apply pressure up, you should have one to two inches from where the fabric shows and your lock. If you find that when you put your transitional leash on that the locking mechanism and the ring is either too far to the left 
or too far to the right, we need to get it to the middle of the dog's ears. So what we're going to do is unlock the locking mechanism. And since I want to move this to the left, I'm going to have to move the nose piece to the right. So I'm just gonna shimmy this like so, and then try it again. Now my ring is in the right place. I can lock my tool down. I'm in between the ears. If you guys wanna get really fancy, I'll show you another way of putting this leash on that makes it a lot quicker. It's actually less complicated, but sometimes figuring it out can be more complicated. <clears throat> so, when I have my leash, I have my pee, it's going to face the dog. I can open up this leash so that it looks almost like an eight. And what I'm going to do is slide this right over the dog's head and nose at the same time. Now from here, I can lock my locking mechanism and attach my safety. Okay guys, I'm gonna show this to you guys one more time. So I have my P, there's my S hook. I'm gonna pull the string through the S hook, hold this, now it's gonna be like this, open it up and slide it right over her head and nose at the same time. From there, I'll lock down, and then from there, I'll put on my safety. One last part that's really important about this is that when we go to take the leash off, we want to unlock it and slide the nose piece off first. Then you can lock it up with your lock and massage your dog's nose. Give them some really good positive reinforcement for using this leash. Kisses? No.